Hello, and welcome to Game Gems. Today, we're going to look at the most straightforward method of importing Cinti assets into Godot. Between the various Humble Bundle offers that keep cropping up and their recent massive holiday sale, I've acquired a lot of Cinti asset packs recently. And I have to say I'm a fan. There's only one problem, though. Cinti does not offer Godot-friendly formats, requiring you to manually massage the asset files in order to import them into the engine. This can get complicated, especially when you're rigging one of the character models, but there's already a really good video out there on that subject, which I'll link at the end as well as in the description below. As a result, I won't be going into that. Today, we're simply working with props and scenery. Now, there are already a lot of videos out there on the subject, but the vast majority of the ones I've seen are old, and while not entirely out of date, they jump through convoluted hoops like importing the files into Blender or downloading a Unity importer plugin to get the files into GLB format, and we don't need to do any of that. You can work with the source files directly without needing any external programs, and in some cases, it's often quicker. Let's see how. First thing you'll need to do is obviously buy a Cinti pack. I am not sponsored by Cinti Studios. If you're basically broke and just want some stuff to mess with, I recommend the Simple series. They're the cheapest ones, and you can almost always find them on a discount if you know where to look. Wow! Today, I'll be working with the Office Pack, because I'm using it in a project, and I want to save myself some work. Once you've purchased a pack or two, or three, or four, or twelve, shut up, I don't have a problem, I can stop any time, you'll want to navigate to your account's downloads page. The packs are available in Unreal Engine, Unity, and Source formats. We want the source. Download the pack and unzip it into a directory somewhere. Although the Cinti packs vary in directory structure, most of them keep the models in both FBX and OBJ format in the relevant folders, and the texture and material maps like emissions and normals in subfolders. We'll see how to navigate those in a moment, but first let me draw your attention to the text file in the root which usually has a name like materials list. This file is your Bible. Cherish it and protect it always, as it will tell you how to link the source files together in Godot. Speaking of which, let's do it now. The bulk of the assets in the pack are almost always shown in the screenshots on the Cinti website, so I use them to browse the models and look for something appropriate. Once I know what I want to put in my scene, I go into the FBX directory and look for it. The file names aren't always super intuitive, so I often have to import a couple of models and then figure out which one is the one I wanted. Since I have a severe caffeine problem, my eye was immediately drawn to the coffee cup model, so let's use that one. Cinti packs tend to be organized into building, character, and prop subdirectories, but not always. The office pack models aren't, so we'll just go into the FBX directory and look for our coffee cup. And I'm not entirely sure which model it is, so I'll grab the one that looks most likely. Copy the FBX file and head on over to your Godot project. I keep a separate resource folder purely for model imports, and you'll see why shortly, and paste it in. Go back into Godot and you'll notice two things. One, that your model has been imported, and two, there's a bunch of errors in the console. A quick note here, if you want this to be as painless as possible, use Godot 4.3 or higher as it already has the FBX importer incorporated into Godot itself. If you have an older version, you'll need to indicate the location of your importer utility in the project settings. Anyway, the errors are unimportant. Locate your imported model and double-click on it to bring up the re-import window so you can see the mesh. This is the one we wanted, so we can go ahead and set it up in Godot. Close the re-import window and right-click on the model, then select New Inherited Scene. Godot will create a new scene using the meshes and such from the imported model, and we need to do this because Godot will not let us modify the imported scene directly. Once we've got that, we need to click on the Mesh Instance node within the new scene. We'll need to do this process for every mesh in the scene, most likely, but it's the same regardless. Click on the little bitty arrow next to the Mesh property and select Make Unique Recursive. This makes the Mesh resource and all of the meshes in the children attached to it into separate editable resources. Now expand the mesh and locate the material property and do likewise. Now you're probably wondering, hey faceless YouTube man, there's no texturing on this model. Well, hapa. We're going to fix that next, but we needed to make sure the materials were editable first. Go back into the Cinti source folder and open up the materials list file, then locate the file name of the model you just imported. The materials list file will show you a list of all the meshes in the object, and, most importantly, which texture they use. You can find that latter bit on the line marked slot, and some models use multiple textures, so make sure you get them all. Go into the textures folder and locate those textures, then copy them into your project as well. The only wrinkle in this process is that some models also have things like bump maps or emission textures, and those aren't always indicated in the material list. But you can usually figure out which ones are relevant because they follow the same naming scheme and are almost always in the same folder. So now let's go back into Godot and expand the material property for our mesh. It'll probably be either blank or set to the material indicated in the original FBX file, but that one's broken. So select a new standard material resource and then expand the albedo section. Albedo? Albedo? I don't know. Drag your texture into the albedo slot and voila! 
Do likewise if you have any supplementary materials like normal maps or whatever. Finally, save your inherited scene as a new scene, ideally somewhere other than where you imported your original model so that you know which is which. Now you can just drag your imported scene into the scene tree and away you go. In most cases, you should be able to copy these scenes from one project to another without having to set them up again, as long as you keep the same file path. This will save you from having to re-import and set up the materials again, but I found this to be unreliable. Regardless, you could now use Cinti Props in Godot, and you didn't have to learn Blender to do it. Start making some games, but take a moment to bang the like button, subscribe to this channel, and join my Patreon for more game gems. See you next time.